This is an extra bedroom that I would like to change the headboard that was there before, so I covered it with just ordinary boards. This is not gonna work and I need something that's gonna go all the way up and stop where the board is. And I will still have allowance at these two sides here for the extra lighting and something that's gonna fill this entire middle space. I'm gonna be mounting what I have in mind with ordinary nails. Because I was expecting guests really soon, I was thinking of something that I can use super quick to cover up the boards. And I remembered an extra room divider that I've had for a while. I've used a similar one in separating the panels in my craft room and my bedroom as well. Now this whole room divider is what I'm gonna use to cover up the board. I'm just gonna be mounting this to see what it looks like before I then go ahead and figure out the lighting that's gonna be by the sides. This seems to be pretty okay. So for the lighting, I'm gonna measure out what I need to use for this project from a used foam board because I will be spray painting for this DIY and it will wrinkle if you spray paint on Dollar Tree foam board. That is why I ran away from Dollar Tree foam board for this particular project and used a different one that I know will not wrinkle after spray painting. Now that I'm done cutting, I will be drawing up lines starting from the middle of the bottom part and then spreading out the lines to fill up the top. I'm gonna cut off the excess foam board and then trace out all of the lines with hot glue. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I spray painted this gold and this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna keep this aside and take out the Dollar Tree bowls that I will also be using for this project. I like to emphasize here that if you're not comfortable using a soldering iron, please ask anyone around the home or your friends for help. It is really important that you have straight cuts on the bowls so that when they're glued onto the board, it would lay flat. Now that I have the bowls separated, I will be making a design on the bowls. And to help me with this design will be to cover up some part of the bowls with tape. I'll be taking these pieces outside and spray painting just the inside white. When they were dry, I brought them in and took off the tape. Now you can still see the glassy look at the front, which is the look that I was going for. That's why I spray painted just the inside and left the outside. I'm also gonna be using Dollar Tree confetti and I'll be using the gold for this project. Now I removed the gold part and separated it from the other ones. And then I'll be using Mod Podge as my adhesive for the confetti. I'll be covering up just the lines with Mod Podge and then sprinkling the confetti over it.
because the Mod Podge is still wet, when you turn it over, you can still see it looking white. But when it's dry, it's going to be much more visible. This is what it now looks like after an hour. Now I'm going to be taking the board that has been designed with hot glue and then turning it over and using command strips at the back to make it easy to mount this on the wall. You can also use other hardwares for mounting items on the wall. It would still work because this particular DIY is not heavy at all. I'll be taking three of the bowls that I have decorated and gluing them on to the board. I'm making a light groove where the bowls are going to be. And I'm using just hot glue to keep the bolts in place. I'll be using a leftover chain at the bottom just to add to the design. This is absolutely not necessary, but it kind of looks good there at the bottom. Now I'm going to be using remote control push lights and just putting it inside the bowls. The texture of the bowls from outside is smooth and that's what I was going for to make sure that you cannot touch the confetti from the outside. I'm also going to be adding LED strips around what I have and these are self-adhesive. So it's easy to apply and it also uses a remote. The length is really long, so I'm going to go again the second time around with the strips. Because I know what I have here is mounted on just nails, I'm going to have to make sure that this stays firm on the wall. So I'm going to be using command strips and attaching them to two sides of each panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this and then mount the DIY lighting that I've made. For those of you who watch my channel regularly, you would have remembered this particular wall sconces that was made some months ago. I just figured that it was going to do really well in this space. And I'm happy I chose that one instead because it looks really super cute with a quick and easy DIY headboard. All the lights look good together, but later at night or in the evening, when you just want to create a certain ambience in the room to look cool and cozy, all the lights can be off and just the LED strips can stay on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.